the easiest way I have to describe the whole process of uh, Advent moving out of its building and then eventually, you know, being welcomed by, by Sylvan Lake is it's probably as close to a miracle as I've experienced in, in my life. We started the expansion at Advent to uh, redo the uh, sanctuary. That would have been 2001, 2002. It was pretty clear starting maybe as early as 2007 that the economy was either to turn around and we would have a major influx or the building at some point would be lost. I became the senior warden in uh, 2012 and very much so uh, we were under a lot of pressure to either pay off the debt or lose the building and uh, we didn't have the funds to pay off the building so uh, indeed when the call came that we were going to lose the building we started well we had been looking around for a building for close to a little over two years at that point and after the two years uh, up until just a couple of months before we left uh, we weren't any closer to, to knowing where we were going to end up than when we started we had spoken to Sylvan Lake a couple of times previously and uh, very much like like Peter, we, we had uh, said no and, and denied them a couple of times, not thinking that it was going to work. We met with Advent folks early in 2011 when they first became aware of their plight, losing their building, and they came to us and we were in conversation about sharing our building with them at that time. They also had other options on the table. We had kind of zeroed in on another Lutheran church uh, over by West Bloomfield High School that we were bound and determined that that was going to be a, a match. Uh, it turned out it was not a match. And as we were close at hand to losing the building, Sylvan Lake was still waiting with open arms to receive us. I think God definitely put Sylvan Lake in our life. They have told me many times that they had been waiting for us to come and knock on their door. And then finally we did and that was in the beginning of September and within 30 days we were here, we settled in and we felt like we lived here forever. The initial request was, can we use your sanctuary on Sunday mornings? We'll find a storefront for an office because they came from a very, very large church and we're very, very small. And as we got into further conversation, we realized, you know, we have a storeroom. It's filled with stuff. We could empty this and we could turn it into an office and they were delighted and that would alleviate them from having to rent a second place. We were envisioning what it was going to be like, you know, anticipating what it was going to be like with another church in the building. We have a very small congregation, so during this time of cleaning, we got a chance to kind of envision what it was going to be like with the building full. When Admin moved, uh, it, was, it was a little bit different because I've been at the same building for my entire life and since we moved buildings so it was a big change but they accepted us. I kind of make a personal mission to get to know all the people in Advent and that's been exciting for me uh, to increase my number of people that I know that are of God and of faith. It's really uplifting for me personally. I have a, a daughter, she's 13, and we had you know, two kids in our, in our congregation, so we didn't have a youth program, we didn't have anything that they could do. Now we have Andrew and Andrew's kids, and there's more children, and it's like, Mom, can I go to the next lockout, or lock-in, whatever it's called. Or, Mom, we fed 100 people today. She comes back so enthusiastic. Uh, Pastor Mary and Pastor Manisha, are really different personalities, both wonderful, and they both bring in, again, a broader uh, background. Our pastor is an outdoors person, trains hunting dogs and shows them in field trials, and Pastor Manisha is definitely not. She tickled me one day, she came out of the kitchen just in a hurry, and there was an ant in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I can take care of that. <laughs> yeah. And I just love them both. They have different sermons and strong in different ways. We are going to be warriors of the Lord and that we are going to take of standing up, speaking out, and doing the action of Jesus Christ out into the community. I feel confident that both sides are so happy with the situation that we 
we have no limitations on it that we'd all join together and keep on moving in the direction of which we feel led. You know, we could join as one congregation, we could separate and go our separate ways. Uh, we're just letting the Lord tell us which way to go. We're listening to Him and we're going to do whatever He says.